back to another casual Friday today like every Friday I'm gonna share with you the products that I've been loving for this week and basically these are the products that I've been using consistently during the week and that I've been enjoying so much so I'm gonna talk a little bit about each one of those products and why I love them so much so if you're interested in knowing all that then just keep watching this video thanks so like every Friday before I start, I'm gonna share with you uh, my week and it's just gonna be a sneak peek because otherwise it's gonna be too long. But basically I've been trying to go back to the routine. Uh, I've been at home for two weeks now um, after vacation and I feel like I'm slowly getting back to the routine, work, uh, soccer practices, and now the tournament started. So it's like, it's not only five times a week, practice but then I also have the games so we've been a lot outdoors so most of the products that you're gonna see here have been tested outside to the worst conditions because where I live it's really hot and when you get out it's like I don't know how to explain it but like when I step out of my house I feel like I'm getting baked in an oven it's like a 450 degree oven that it's still you know there's still some breeze but it's hot so you feel like you're burning and you feel like you're cooking outside so sometimes that stop us to go outside during the summertime I'm gonna be honest with you sometimes we rather stay here with the AC on and I know it sounds so boring but when you are suffering from the weather it's like you don't really want to be outside that much so we usually used to go to the mountains or whatever it was kind of cooler and enjoy that kind of activity this year we haven't been doing that so much because of all the extra soccer activities that we have but I'm thankful because it kind of makes us go and be outside and do more outdoor activities we've been going every afternoon like I said to practices and games and even though it's hot I feel like you know we always can find some shade and you know try to deal with it and we've been enjoying a lot more our summers so I'm really excited that the soccer has been pushing us to be more outdoor this summer so I'm really excited about that having said that all these products that I'm gonna show you have been tested outside and that's what it's been working for me but my skin is kind of changing so let's go ahead and get started I'll show you every product and I'll talk a little bit more about each one of those and why I've been using them so much first product that I want to mention is a foundation and I actually tried this foundation uh, at the beginning of the summer and I decided that I was gonna leave it for winter time even though it's kind of dark I thought I would make it work during the winter time because it was way too creamy a little bit before I left for my vacation my skin started to be really dry and like it started to break in my nose and in this area and I I, I mean this area is usually very oily but it was really really dry so I didn't know what to do I was using a lot of my skincare products and stuff like that and it kind of helped but every time I used the foundation it will you know emphasize all the, those dry patches and it will make them look worse or noticeable while if I don't use foundation if I didn't use foundation I mean it didn't show that much so after I came back I tried this foundation and another one that it's the color that I need right now because I'm like three or four shades darker than before I left and oh my gosh this one is the one that I've been using since then uh, this is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Repair Absolute. This is in 137 Sun Beige. This is supposed to be foundation for aging skin. And I mean, you don't have to be 50 years old to start using this. I mean, I bought it because I love to get some anti-aging or I like to buy foundations that have some other kinds of benefits to them. This kind of helps my pores look smaller and also I feel like it really fills in the fine lines that I have in this area in particular not where I apply the concealer but in this area I have some fine lines that I don't like and I feel like it really covers them or it doesn't make them it doesn't highlight them it kind of hides them so I really enjoy that it is not a matte finish it's kind of a luminous finish so if you have um, oily skin you probably wouldn't enjoy this as much but like I mentioned before, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or what the deal is, but I feel like my skin has been changing and I'm not noticing so much oils on a regular basis, but maybe when I'm outside or stuff like that, 
so this doesn't really emphasize my dry patches it actually moisturizes them and I feel like it's make it's doing so much better since I started to use this foundation it looks natural on my skin and it since it actually matches my body it looks like it's just my skin it's very like I mentioned before kind of luminous so if you don't like that look you probably wouldn't like it but to me right now I need that sensation like I have some kind of moisturizer on my skin all day long I don't want to feel like it, my skin is dry and I don't I mean I can't be reapplying moisturizer you know throughout the day so I need something to stay there I've been using it to go to the park and it stays the same way as if when I apply it in the morning I sweat I do have a little bit of oils of course because I'm being outside but I blot and it's there it looks amazing to me it looks very very natural I love to use it with my beauty blender even though I don't like it to use this kind of product with my beauty blender because I feel like it stains the beauty blender but since I'm gonna have to buy a new one I'll probably leave that one for my cream foundations and I don't care if it's you know stains or whatever but I love to use it with that I kind of damp the beauty blender get it in the product and then stipple it all over my face and it kind of absorbs and my skin absorbs the foundation and it makes it look like it's my skin this that's what I have on today like I mentioned before I cannot get enough of this foundation and I've been loving it and I'll probably keep it for my monthly makeup basket because I think that this product is the only one that it's been working for me so far for this summer. I'm gonna keep going with the dryness on my skin. Once I got that foundation, I really wanted to use another concealer. I was using my MAC Pro Longwear, and even though I love it because it's waterproof and it stays there all day and everything that I love about that concealer, I feel like it was drying for my under eye area right now. So what I've been using is the Tarte Maracuja Jack Graceless Concealer. I love this concealer. I think this is in the color tan. I bought this two years ago. I mean, it's yeah it, it's been too long so I know I don't know why I never want to finish it and I was ready to buy a new one already so I decided that I was gonna finish this one up and see you know if I really should invest in a new one or not and oh my gosh I've been loving this concealer it is so moisturizing I don't know if you'll be able to see but this is the color it's like a salmony concealer like I mentioned before I think this is in the color tan I think they changed the coloring or the names of, or they added more colors but so far I know this is the one that I've been having for the past two years and it's been working. It's amazing. It's very moisturizing so you feel like you're putting like a under eye cream or something and at the same time it corrects all your darkness. I don't feel like I need to use a concealer or a brightening concealer on top of that because this one works as both. It looks very natural and even though sometimes it sets in my lines, I blot once a day and I find that I don't have to touch up that area during the rest of the day. It is very luminous finish, which I don't mind, especially during the summertime, but I feel like the luminous skin, it's very in. I have fine lines and I feel like every time I apply this concealer, it kind of plumps them and I can't really see them. While well, I was using my MAC Pro Longwear and the only thing that I didn't like about that right now is that I could still see my wrinkles or fine lines in that area. And I so if you're looking for a good concealer, moisturizing concealer, and you don't mind blotting once a day if you have to, then I absolutely recommend this. It has amazing ingredients, and at the same time, it makes your skin look flawless. Let's talk about lip products. I've mentioned these products before, but this is what I've been using throughout this week, and I need to mention them. <laughs> The first one is the True Dimension Lipstick by Mary Kay. This is in the color Cien Brule. This is what I have on my lips today. It's very moisturizing. It's like a balm feeling. I know these are not the cheapest lipsticks from Mary Kay, but I think they are worth it. The regular line, they're okay, but I wouldn't pay that much for them, but these ones are amazing. And then on top of that, I've been using this NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. This is a nice color that everybody talks about. And like I mentioned before, I like to use this just to lighten up maybe my darker colors that 
it may not be in right now because we're in, during summertime but every time that I wanted to do an eye look or something or a smoky look or whatever uh, for I don't know for a night out or whatever I've been using the combination of these two lip products and I don't know I just like it I feel like it may not be very summer it may not be very summery but it works for me the products the first one is a bronzer that's what I have today I've been trying to contour but since my skin tone has changed this is the only thing that I've been using and that kind of matches my skin right now this is a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil I mean everybody knows about this but what I've been loving is this since I've been using more of a luminous foundation sometimes some bronzers tend to uh, apply more or apply patchy just because there's more moisture in some parts of your face this doesn't do that this it's amazing it blends into your skin i've been loving to use that um to do that look where i don't wear blush or highlighter but i bronze my face like if i was going to contour i do it right here i do it right here and maybe on the sides even though i can't really do a lot of bronzing in this area because i so you can probably tell i have two fingers or forehead so if you haven't noticed i'm sure you have but i can't really you know do a lot in this area but i would do this right here whatever it's the beginning of the hair in this area and then i go down and go into here and then to here been loving loving this bronzer it's amazing it blends amazingly it smells amazing and i love it the next thing that i've been using is this sunscreen i mentioned that i got this in my um influencer box that i'm gonna link that video down below it has a lot of information in case you want to check that out this is the hawaiian tropic sheer touch spf 30 i've been loving this i have it in my purse i apply it while i'm at the park i apply it before i go to the park it blends into your skin and it's very lightweight you don't feel like you're using sunscreen i feel like every time i use some kind of lotion sunscreen i feel like my skin can't breathe it can be that it's me it might be just me but it doesn't I don't know I feel like I'm sweating more or like my skin wants to sweat and it can because my pores are covered or they're clogged or something like that since I've been using this it smells amazing it smells like you're coming from the beach and it kind of gives you a glow so if you have a tan it looks even better and it protects you it smells amazing I love it I'm gonna purchase the full size as soon as I'm done with this I'm going to finish this one though because I've been comparing to my holy grail sunscreen and I will let you know by the end of the month who won that contest so loving 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 this sunscreen that was it I hope you enjoy this casual Fridays as I mentioned before this is kind of different because I don't know I feel like some of these products like for instance the foundation I felt like two months ago that I wasn't gonna use it that much and I mean my skin changed so much that it's amazing i can't i i can't even think about not having this foundation right now for my skin how it's right now and it's it might be because you know you're maturing you mean your skin i'm 31 years old i'll be 32 this november it, so it could have something to do with that that it's getting drier i don't know but that's what it's been working that's what i've been loving to wear because of how natural it looks on my skin and how it makes my skin look and feel all these products have been really like holy grail for this week and i need to steer away from them because i need to find other products in my collection <laughs> but anyways thank you for watching remember to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it also to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed so you won't miss any videos monday through fridays and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on Monday's video. Mwah.